Hey, what's up guys? This is Bubba TV 24 and welcome to the channel. Today we are in the game Shovelware's Brain Game and I thought that I would play this game because it is pretty fun actually. It is very well done. The animations are awesome and it's basically like a game show game and as you can see we've got some fruit here. It's all fruit based except for the donut here that is the uh, security guard but this game is super fun I've been having a decent time with it and I love the animations of it it's really goofy it's funny and we're gonna do a show of it and if you enjoy the video be sure to leave a like on it feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell and we are on the road to 8500 subs and we are uh, cruising right along so essentially what you're doing is you're trying to answer basic general knowledge questions which I'm probably going to get wrong more often than right and uh, it's pretty fun so we'll take a look at it here once the game actually get started all right here we go we have the game starting here what time is it time to bring out the host of the show the one the only dancing banana Hello to all of you watching at home on the SWTV. That's right, nobody wanted to touch the airing rights to this production with the 20 foot pole, so we made our own TV network. Welcome to the game! Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Um, maybe YouTube? Regardless, it's your turn to pick a category. Okay, so we're gonna pick a category and then we're gonna have a general knowledge question here Nonsense, non sequiturs, science rules, and amazing space. Let's do science. Science rules. You know what? Science does rule. What is the scientific study of the atmosphere? I want to get into it, so maybe I can do something about this pesky, rainy weather. So we're going to get a multiple choice here. Okay. It is meteorology. Yeah, and if we get it right, we get points. That's pretty based. Points are then converted into coins, and then we can use those coins to buy things like uh, new podiums, new stuff like that. The people who tell you the weather forecasts are meteorologists. I knew that when I got it right, guys. I got 10 points. Hi, how are you? In the mood to pick a category, I hope, because that's what you're doing. There's With studios. the animations, the actual game itself, it's really well done. Because when you hear shovelware, you think quiz questions. It's time for your government-mandated dance break. Let's dance. Okay, okay. <sighs> how many of those government-mandated dance breaks do you encounter in shrunken school lobby? Oh. I actually don't know. We're going to take a guess here. I'm going to say three. Three seems about right. I can see that MIT education is really paying for itself. Okay, they got it right. What was the answer? Oh, we all got it wrong. Two. Okay. Nonsense, non sequitur. Okay, I've never done this one. I don't know actually what it is. Buckle up, it's about to get weird. You're locked in a room and must play a game to escape. I know you don't like smelly smells, beetles, and bugs. If you can't fold a pile of t-shirts just like they do at Old Naval, what state of matter will the room slowly fill with? Make your choice. What? G gas, I think. Alright, let's see. They got it wrong. Hey, I was right. Gas, baby. I got 10 points for that. Did we invite you or did you just kind of wander onto the set? Probably geography. Because it's... Probably geography. Put your geography skills to the test in this category. Well, probably anyway. I've been looking to sneak in a little me time and get myself some much needed R and R. I want to go somewhere without many people around. Seriously, the fewer the better. Okay. Which continent is the least populated? Antarctica. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. That's right! Hey! Hey! I don't know if the residents would let the announcer chill there. I've heard those penguins run a pretty exclusive club. Uh-oh. Yo, what's up? I'm the oldest of the Dancing Bananas nephews. I work the cameras. That over there is my younger brother. He's the middle nephew. I pull the curtain. The one with the clipboard approaching me angrily is my other brother, Peel. Get back to the show! Well, that's the end of my inside scoop. Back to you, Uncle Boss Man. Uh-oh. It's bonus prize time. Let's see what hilarious and witty thing the announcer has to say about us, shall we? You're going to Brazil! Woo! That's right. You and your whole family. 
family are going to Brazil. Explore the sights and sounds of South America on this six month long mandatory excursion to Rio de Janeiro. Mandatory. You cannot back out of. I repeat, you will be locked into this obligation with absolutely no way out. This cannot be undone if you win this prize. I'll go. Easy. Wasn't that prize just nifty? Answer this next question and it's all yours. So you get prizes here overall. Andrew Scott Waugh, credited as being the first person to ever put two feet on top of Mount Everest, was the first person to precisely calculate its height. Exactly how oh high my did he gosh. calculate it to be? I don't know. Uh... I'm gonna go 29,000. I actually don't know this answer. I got it right! Oh. Okay. Oh, look at all the, the audience. Count him in my calculated Mount Everest to be exactly 29,000 feet. Heck yeah, brother. However, he publicly declared it to be 29,002 feet to avoid the impression that the height was a rounded estimate. And the bonus prize is all yours. I'm going to Brazil, boys. Shapes and such. This category is questions of all shapes and sizes. Oh, oh, oh. What kind of triangle has one angle that measures precisely 90 degrees? You can't say that on TV. Hey, I got it right. I got five points. Everybody else got it wrong. Uh-oh. out a special guest to ask the next question. It's Forty, the smart board. Which camera am I looking at again? Oh, hey, it's me, Forty. Question time. This set of pipes has four openings and four exits. Mm -hmm. You need to pour water in one of the openings so it reaches the exit with the bucket beneath it. The water will only flow downward with gravity and will not go upward through any pipes. Which opening do you pour the water through? No way! Yeah, I was right! Another question down! See you all later! Oh, somebody just got set on fire. What the heck? Welcome to the game. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Drawing, music, sculpting. It's anything goes in the artistic integrity category. Sneak a peek. Okay. What is the name of this famous painting by Grant Wood? American Gothic. <laughs> oh, dude. Woo, baby, get it. The more prizes you get, the easier this category is. It's eyes on the prizes. How many vitamins and minerals do the caveman vitamins contain? Oh. Ooh, I don't actually know. I'm gonna go with 12. We're talking about Flintstone vitamins. They call them caveman here, but I don't know. I'm gonna go with 12. I don't actually know the answer. Yeah, I got it wrong. Which phobia is the fear of repeating patterns and clusters? Oh, easy. Trypophobia. Sure, whatever. Hey! Another round has come to an end. One of our lucky contestants will be leaving here today with a fabulous prize. Let's see what it'll be. It's gonna be me, guys. It's gonna be me. We'll be providing travel and lodging oh, I'm, the I'm going to Brazil Alps. and the Swiss Alps? Slopes at a five-star ski resort with scenic vistas, world-class service, and definitely no yetis preparing to chase you down the side of the mountain. That is an old reference on this photo, by the way. You did it! You got that the Yeti. Rain of all. That Yeti is from a really old PC game from back in the day where it was a little ski game. Go look it up if you're interested in that. It's really old. And now they're filing out. There's a giant uh, cantaloupe back here in the back and chocolate bars and all kinds of stuff. And then now that we have money, we can actually go over here. And we can buy stuff if we really want to. A new buzzer, uh, new new things here. So that has been Shovelware's Brain Game. And if you guys want to see more of this, be sure to leave a like on the video. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm having a great time with it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys thought it was a lot of fun too. I will see you guys next time. I've been BubbaTV24, and I am signing out.